Hi folks, welcome to segment nine where we talk about playing music from a USB device. Now this is when we can really get this entertainment system going. While the IntelliLink and MyLink systems are capable of playing your music wirelessly through the Bluetooth connection, most of the time I actually plug in. And this is simply for the charging and also the added information that I can get on the screen. You see, with Bluetooth media streaming, you don't necessarily get all of the song data that comes along with your music. Plus, if I'm on a longer drive, that Bluetooth streaming uses the phone battery. So, just by using one of these, that USB connector that's specific for your phone, not only can I take advantage of all the data that's offered, when I arrive, my phone is fully charged as well. Now once you plug in the USB uh, connector to the slot in the center console and the other end obviously into your phone, you're all set, it's that easy. The device will automatically recognize and actually start connecting. In fact, it will start playing your music as well, so it's a pretty easy process. Um, you can actually, if you are going back and forth between AM, FM and you want to go to the USB, you can select it from your home screen just like you would any other radio station uh, and right now we have the now playing icon here as well and it will actually show you what's playing on my iPhone. Now the nice thing is it gives you the full display of the song, it gives you the artist, it gives you all of that great information right there in front of you. Now this is where the really cool part comes into play. If you're like me, um, you don't necessarily have all of the data correctly entered in, especially with the genre of the song. Well, this is where the IntelliLink and MyLink GraceNote technology really works for you. You see, GraceNote is a built-in database that has about 90% of all the music catalog correctly. It will actually fill in the blanks for you to properly sort by genre, by artist, and by album. Hey, it even fills in the album art if that's something it's missing too. And best of all, it does it automatically for you. This way, uh, if you want to play more songs from a particular artist or a music type, it will be categorized properly and you can get all the data possible. Now in a previous video, we talked about how the different screens have a different menu option. And the now playing screen is no different. This will actually show you all of the available choices for your USB device. Now, as a little note, if you're like me, you may have a lot of songs on your iPod or your smartphone, but you don't listen to all of them. In fact, you may have forgotten what you have in your song library. So I always make sure that the shuffle option right at the very top is actually selected. And that way, the next song may be a welcome surprise. But if you look down at the rest of the options, you can jump right to specific songs or playlists or anything that you have set up on your smartphone or on your iPad. Now, what I've been doing lately is just making sure that the shuffle is selected and then going to the song option down below and then just starting on the top one and letting it go. Uh, song by song and it's kind of nice because it can actually remind you about all of the music you actually have on here and as you scroll through song to song it's jumping back and forth randomly. Now you can scroll through with the steering wheel control button uh, the up and down arrow which is on the source area just by pushing it up and down but again the nice thing about that is your phone is not in your hands and you're driving and you're just simply pressing up and down and listening to your own music. Now you can also use voice commands to use your USB device as well. Now truthfully I wasn't doing this a lot at first but now that I have I use it all the time. You should really try it. If you were listening to the radio but then you wanted to swap to the USB uh, you can actually do it by just pressing that voice command button that we've used in other videos and saying play USB. You can't, uh, you can actually get even more specific. Watch this. Uh, if I want to listen to a specific artist, I can actually tell the system there. Again, I press the command button. Please say a command. Play artist John Lennon. Now playing artist John Lennon and Yoko Ono. <laughs> it automatically jumps to that selection and it starts playing it. 
You can do this with any artist. In fact, you can use short terms as well. And that's where that Grace Notes database comes into play again. It knows that if you said the boss, you're referring to Bruce Springsteen. Or by saying CCR, it knew that you wanted to play Creedence Clearwater Revival. So it's pretty smart that way. Now you can tell the system to play a specific album, or if you're in a certain mood, you can tell it to play a certain genre. Again, one press of that button and just tell it what you want. If you can't recall the voice commands, you can actually just say, help. And the system will tell you the commands that are available to you. You really have to try it out. Again, I wasn't using a lot at first, but the more I am, the more often I'm using it. Now, there's likely some videos that you haven't watched yet in this series. So what I want you to do is make sure that you watch all of the different videos. But for now, make sure you're learning about playing your USB devices.